Cheers is filmed before a live studio audience. Still snowing out there. Yeah. And every flake means another buck in Norm's pocket. You, you guys still moaning because Norm hit the jackpot and you didn't? Hey, come on, Paul. Give us some credit for being adults, huh? Hey, what do you say we toy with paper his house? Nah, it only make it look better. <laughs> Sam, excuse me. May I have your ear for a moment? Sure, just don't leave any bite marks. <laughs> Sam, I've decided to break off my relationship with Chad. Who? <sighs> What an actor you are. You know, if you hadn't chosen bartending, you could well have had a career in the theater. Or as a model. <laughs> anyway, you needn't continue this charade of nonchalance. I'm ending my affair to Kerr because I can sense how it's secretly gnawing away at you. Okay, all right. I'm glad. All I've been able to think about is you and Chad in your apartment, in his car, on the stairs, doing things even we never did. Oh, I can't eat, I can't sleep. Oh, Sam, really? Gee, maybe I could have been an actor. Oh! Are you developing a slow leak, Diane? No, I have a problem. I just don't know who to talk to. Oh. Well, how about me? I don't think that would be appropriate in this case. You see, it's a romantic problem. Ooh. Considering our past, I don't think you could possibly maintain your objectivity. Oh, come on. Give it a shot. Very well. As you know, last week I was substituting as a teaching assistant at the college, mm -hmm. and it seems that one of the students has fallen in love with me. Miriam. <laughs> Oh, Diane, will you do me a favor and run up and get some change from Melville's, please? Hmm. What, what are you doing? Huh. Lance is definitely taller than you are. <laughs> For a while there, I thought you were taller, but I see why I was mistaken. Your shoulders are less broad, thus giving you the illusion of greater height. <laughs> I promised not to bring up this Adonis-like creature, didn't I? Sorry. No, no, hey, don't be sorry about a little fantasy. I mean, I'm not sorry about the fantasy I had a couple hours ago. By the way, how many nurses do you think can fit in a standard size hot tub? <laughs> Sam, I assure you, Lance is not a fantasy. And the feelings he inspires are very real, too. Change. Not for you or any man. No, no, Diane. Change. Nickels, dimes, quarters. <laughs> Is she going to be all right? Yeah, of course she's going to be all right. Yeah, okay. uh, yeah I'm, I'm fine. I, I just had this dream that uh, I saw the handsomest man. <gasps> Would you stop that? Oh, nice going, Sam. I was hoping to give me mouth to mouth. <laughs> you still can, you know. <laughs> Diane's upstairs. She'll be right down. Can I get you something? Hey, how about a beer? Oh, dear. Now, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to ask you for an ID. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> is, is something funny? Yeah, yeah. It says here you're six two and a half. So? <laughs> I'm six three. <laughs> Diane, your little friend's here to see you. So, what time's Pee Wee coming in? If you're referring to Lance, I'm expecting him shortly. Soon. And I don't appreciate these constant attempts to denigrate him. Let me ask you a question. What do you see in him? You mean... Besides a young, brainy, stunningly gorgeous man with many interests similar to mine who's fawning over me and giving me all the attention I could ever ask for? Yeah. I see 
What I used to see in you before you decided to spend the last few months flogging me with your apathy. Well, I'm sorry, Diane, but that's all I had handy. I'm Polish! Yeah! I'm Polish! Oh, this is so exciting. It's just like, like the first time I ever rode a bicycle. Well, this is great. You're, you're not mad. Mad? I'm elated. Hey, I'm elated, too. Oh, this is, this is... oh what a glorious day. I'm going to go do what poets do. Drink myself stinky. <laughs> Wait a minute. This always happens. You always squirm out of these things unscathed. You did a terrible thing. I know I did. No, you don't. <laughs> you put me through hell. This time it's going to be different. I'm going to make you suffer. What are you, what are you going to do? I don't know. <laughs> yes, I do. You're going out there and admit to everyone that you stole this poem from me. Oh, come on. You mean I have to go out and tell the whole bar that I'm not a poet? <laughs> you sure do, mister. Let's go. Mm -hmm. You want to go back to my place and ride a bike? <laughs> 